and welcome back here at Stardew Gaming for a new episode of the Realms of Arcania, the Blade of Destiny. So we're somewhere in the middle of Thorval. I think uh, it must be around Daspota and I wanted to visit uh, this abandoned hostel that was on the wayside. Um, we actually visited this dungeon before, but I totally backed out because uh, at that point in time the group was not strong enough to tackle a challenge like that. But for now everyone is uh, kind of at full health and so I really think uh, this can be done. So let's uh, let's have a look. Yeah, right, there's the Spota. And the hostel is supposed to be somewhere here. The many tracks left by game in the soft ground indicate a watering hole. Do you want to rest here and try your luck at hunting? Hell no. <laughs> we have so many rations, uh, it doesn't really matter. And uh, so we're carrying on here. On we go to Despota, an abandoned hostel, like I said. And since I already knew that there is a cellar, let's just go down there and see what we're getting into. Oh well, Arik and Kaya are most uncomfortable. Well, I think that's what happens. Uh, maybe it would make sense no, wait, we already have the, yeah, so there is light available from the, from the magic stuff, so, uh-huh. I like the lighting effect, it's pretty nice, although there is basically nothing that should be the source of light, but maybe it's a magic glow, so what do I know, huh? Let's have a look at the map. Um, I think that's the exit. Right, that should be the exit. From what I'm remembering, this dungeon might be filled with undead and the sword, so lots of uh, funny smaller battles. And um, the most important reason why I'm doing this is that I think there might be magical items to get here in this dungeon. And of course, um, because of the XP, right? So we're not doing this for fun. We're doing this for XP. Uh, although I think I might have missed a room there. So uh, let's go back and uh, it's supposed to be, to be behind that wall. But how do I get there? Oh, how about taking this door? And there's the treasure chest. Oh, it's opening. Hmm, did I already... Yeah, that is a possibility that I actually already emptied this chest earlier in, a, in our first visit here. But I'm not sure how far I got at this point. So, there's nothing here. We hear some funny sound of uh, crawling creepers somewhere. Hmm. Nothing in here. A lever protrudes from the wall here. Do you want to press it? Uh, do I want to press the lever? I might as well, huh? A lever pro I hear quite click, but I don't know what it does. It might have enabled some uh, some pitfall. This is creepy. A lever protrudes from the wall here. Do you want to press it? Sure. Okay. A lever pro. This one apparently closes and opens this door. Well, yeah. 
I won't complain about that. I need to get to the next room, actually, because there's another chest. And there hasn't been a single battle. Okay, there's a door. But I want to go into this room and have a look. Okay, Kaya's uncomfortable. I can deal with that. And here we go. That's what I wanted to see. A battle. Oh, a glowing zombie. Look at this. Oh, no, it's not glowing. It's just their turn. Stupid me. Ignifaxus. Oh, holy moly. Two of these guys and they are prepared to... Okay. Well, uh... <laughs> um... That escalated quickly. Uh, two sorcerers and they are really prepared to... And Kai has frozen in fear. That's a bad combination. Um, fear of the dead. Freezing uh, Kaya. Not a good thing. I wanted to control one of the zombies to attack these guys and actually tank their... Um, tank their spells. Now I have to send Arbush. I will, however, put him here and then I will bring Torfin there to get rid of this guy as soon as possible. Ow. That was 14. No damage from this guy. As Ignifaxus. long as... Ow. Okay, he attacked Arbush. How much damage was that? Oh, he rolled and he rolled badly. So Arbush tanked it basically. The good thing about the Ignifaxus spell is that it is actually measured against uh, the armor rating. And uh, he rolled only a six. And that means it's six hit points, but it's not six damage points since Arbash's armor is something like, I don't know, maybe seven or eight even. Um, but uh, that's a game I can play too, so let's see. Ignifaxus. <laughs> that was an insta-kill. 32 damage. It is not good for my astral energy, what I'm doing here, uh, but I don't want to um, go for any chances. So one of these guys is down. Uh, I think I can handle the other one without any more magic, but um, I didn't want to, to have two of these guys because two lucky Ignifaxius. Lightning find you. And even Arbush is down, and there's no magic resistance against an Agnifaxius. Actually, the, the worse spell would have been the, um, the Fulminictus, since that one ignores any armor. But I think the overall damage is better on the Agnifaxius. If you Fulminictus. have the... What the? Why did she cast a Fulminictus? Oh, because she's not in her right mind. Well, that's not good. I have to finish this battle as soon as possible before she actually wastes her energy. That would not be good. He seems to be out of energy, which is good for me. Now Vindariel does not hit him. Okay. But Full if, uh, I didn't want you to do that. I need your energy. I really, really... Should I do this? Yeah, I think the, the zombie is not a danger to us at all. So let's uh, take care that we can take this guy down. As soon as possible. <coughs> okay. That was not dangerous at all. This was a hit. Arik will not cast anything. No, don't do it. Oh, I hate this. Look at this. 18 points. Oh, at least the zombie is dead. Okay. What was that? That was some weird sound. Okay, we got a red ring and a blue ring. I will give both to Arik. I ha oh, he doesn't have any slots available. So give one to Arbash. I have to take my time and investigate these things. I think I have a gold ring too. This room is completely empty. However, a figure appears to be forming in the middle, right above the pentagram that has been drawn with a brownish color. 
hollow eyes stare at you from a grotesque, distorted face, seeming to want to rip your souls from your bodies. That doesn't sound good. I would say it's a demon. Uh, and I, I um, interrupted these guys summoning this demon. The question is, will it attack or not? Now, the bigger question is, why is the translation again faulty here? Um, because that's German, a pentagram. And uh, it's not really nice, so... Hmm. Okay. The demon was apparently summoned over there. If I near this, will there be a battle against the demon? No. Why? Where is it? Okay, let's save this. We did good in the last battle, but uh, I'm still not happy for reasons. Okay. Let's see. Sorry. Hello? Would it be able to open this thing? Is that just a decoy? Oh, I hate when this happens. Hmm, I'm not sure about this. Uh, it is not cool. <laughs> okay, um, let's get out. There is another door in the back. Why is... Oh, you don't have the lock picks. I think you should pick the locks and also be at the front line. Okay. That's not a door. This is the first sub-level. So I made it through the first level without getting treasure from the chest, which is really disappointing. But, well, what can you do? I have to definitely check on this chest. Maybe the other lever? Hmm. I really don't know. Not cool, though. The room is entirely empty, except for the four <laughs> zombies closing in on you threateningly. <laughs> except for the four zombies closing in. Okay. <laughs> four zombies, it is. I don't think they're a big threat to us. It's only four zombies, unless they don't get reinforcements by, let's say, a sand or some other unpleasant creature from the nether hells. It should not be a big issue putting these guys down. Um, but I will bring Kaya to a safe location. I don't really need her here. And so, Arbush, give this guy a good whack with your axe. Torfin is frozen in fear. That's not so good. But like I said, it's it's zombies, so yeah, we should be fine. That was a hit. I could use some of this axe damage. No, our brush is frozen in fear. That sucks. <laughs> good. Come on, Torfin. And it's down. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Lots of axe damage against zombies. Very nice. So, Arbush, take two steps and hit it. One hit. And Torfin is not uh, able to attack this round, so no second attack against the same target. This one now gets 18 from Terrain. That was nice. Um, I will not waste arrows on these guys. And... Arbor should not do any damage. <laughs> I still won't waste arrows. I want to do this the old-fashioned way. Just like that. Take him down, Torfin. One good hit. Nope. But Arbush might be able to do it. Yep. I mean, remember the first dungeons when we constantly got our asses handed to us and now we're pretty much steamrolling these guys. That's a big difference. And I also only had to get used to the game. 17 damage and that's it for the zombies. I will go a little bit of zigzag here um, to make sure that whatever is the here triggers. in soft violet here. Oh, I like purple. Now... 
What is it? Soft violet here. Hello? Is there anybody out there? Hmm. Pick the lock, Arbush. Let me check the, the map. Where did we come from? Back here? Yeah, that's the first level, so we came from back here. There's another door. Did we pass through that? Hmm, I have to investigate this. Good. The large room is filled with a sharp, acrid stench. Mm. In the brown fog, you see an alchemist working at a table. He seems to have noticed you too. He motions his hand and five indistinct shapes loom from the depths of the room, attacking you. Oh, 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 oh. What is this again? So we got skeletons, we got a mummy, another skeleton, a zombie, a skeleton, and no alchemist, actually. So that's good. We can focus on the undead and uh, hopefully take out the alchemist later. That uh, should not be the biggest problem. Although the mummy is the most apparent threat right now. Let's give it a couple of good hits. So you please come here and you save your energy. If there is an alchemist, I would probably need some more magical power. So not going to waste that on undead that we could owe 16. Look at this. That we could um, defeat just by... <coughs> Oh, what the f... I will kill you. Look at this. This is not cool. Um, what can we do against that? Nothing. Oh, wait, we can. Three. Let's uh, have another one. Okay, so that's seven, eleven. Okay. Uh, no pun intended, actually. <laughs> it was uh, enough uh, hit points for for him to... Please shoot at Arbush. Why are you constantly... Oh, here we go. There he is. And that's the reason why I saved my energy. Okay, he will certainly get a full Menictus and some more spells from here. If I will be allowed to shoot... Oh, don't shoot at Vindario. Oh, she can take it. Lightning, find you. That's okay. That was only a debuff. And um, that also means that he is now able to receive Full this one. That's only seven damage. But Vindario is also... Oh, she's too far away. Uh, let me see. If I go here, I will still be able to cast the spell, hopefully. Fulminictus. Yeah. <clears throat> that was another hit. That was 14. And now let's uh, hear it. From, maybe I should use the spell. 66 damage. Should do Ignifaxus. the trick. Ignifaxus. He is down. That was a waste of energy and I didn't appreciate this uh, uh, shaky screen there. That was not fun. Um, I have to bring I have to bring down the mummy. That would, was good. And now I will bring Torfin here to play the target for these two guys. And still attack the skeleton. That's nice. So that worked out. <coughs> and yeah, you can shoot at Arbush. No problem. So that means that Arbush will stay here for now, play the target. I brought down the Magician. I really hope that uh, one of these guys brings me a magical potion that can recharge my energy. Because I am pretty sure that this guy was not the final enemy. Because I haven't found anything yet. And uh, as far as I remember, this dungeon holds some interesting magical items. Um, I'm not sure if this is in this game, but in the old one, uh, you got actually a belt that uh, lowered your fear of the dead. And you got an 
a bell that was uh, raising your um, your strength by, I think, five points. And this is significant. I mean, imagine Torfin having a belt with plus five strength. Whew, that would really make a difference. He would deal even more damage. Okay, so this skeleton will be going down soon. It already got, like, I don't know, 20 damage. Oh, that was a hit. That was another hit. These guys are really good. But that's not going to save them. Armor is enough. Gaia. Now, Shireen, can you finish this guy off? No, but you can hit him. Three points of damage. And Vindariel shoots at this guy. Three points. Oh, Torfin cannot attack. That sucks. <laughs> Whoa, another hit. He's still fine. Look at this. Only lost like 12 points. Yep. They can do it. But I'm surprised that these guys do so much damage. Um, so that means they are kind of the upgraded version. Or got special arrows or bows, which I won't find in the loot, of course. Now, Torfin. Yes! That's right, baby. Uh, now let me see. How can we do this? Um, Torfin has to stay there. And I will see what I can do with Arbush. Because I need a target. And these guys... If I step... Well, if I step here... Vendaria is still... Far enough, right? Especially if she kills this guy soon. Okay, that was another hit. Uh, not another hit. And the question whether or not to move Torfin uh, really uh, was uh, not necessary anymore since he was frozen in fear and could not move. So, Vindaria, can you finish him? It is a hit, as the action cap suggests, but not enough to kill him. And I still don't appreciate the shaky screen. That's freaking me out. That was a hit. But not enough. 11 points of damage, though. That's uh, okay-ish. Solid hit. So, Vindariel has a shot at him. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, you guys will stay where you are. And now, Shireen, finish it. Oh, a failed attack. That's not what you need. So, these are the two steps I wanted to take. And now, take him down. Here we go. That's Torfin in action. 18 points of damage. Very nice. Now I have to position uh, in a clever way. I think I will go here with Arbush. If she doesn't kill him. Okay, so I will bring Arbush here uh, to take the shots from there and see if I can position Shireen over here to play the target. And then, I mean, I, I want to corner this guy. And, and that's more what I plan ahead, right? So if I bring Chirin here. Torfin can go here. He will attack Chirin. Arbush can go here and also attack this guy. But maybe, yeah, it is still necessary. So that's not enough movement points. Oh, he does not shoot at Shireen because that's not the angle. So I have to reposition her. Okay, okay, we can do that. That was a hit. Stay there, you too. And maybe Torfin can end it. Yeah, okay. So I don't have to worry about this guy. He will shoot at Shireen and um, he will now take a good swing at him. And score seven damage. That's cool. So, Vindariel, take another shot. Good. Oh, well, I, I don't need to waste any more arrows here, though. Because that would make sense. Now, if I bring you here, he will run. So, you stay there and take the arrows. 
And maybe I can bring Torfin. No, that's too far. I could have brought him here, but same situation. He doesn't have a target, so he would move. Now he has a target and won't move, so these two guys can hopefully finish him off. So, Arbush, get him. That was a hit. And he's frozen in fear, so Torfin can't attack. Well, no more arrows. Kaya, Cherin stays where she is. Arbush does another hit, and he broke his weapon. Ah, uh, Arbush, what are you doing, man? You're killing me. And Torfin fails, so these two guys really sucked this round. But we can try again. He failed. Now I have to check, do I have an exchange weapon? I do. And let's see how much damage it does. Nothing, because the attack failed. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. No problem. No problem at all. Now, try again. I mean, since the mage is dead, it's really not a big deal. Okay. That was a hit at Shireen, but, um, oh, she took damage, four points, one point, okay, she took some more damage before that, all right, we can do that, that's what I said, I won't take the swords, um, they're not bringing me any big loot, um, big money, So there's another chest, right? Let's see, we killed the magician. And uh, there is a chest waiting for me to open it. Save it. And then open the chest. Hello, loot. And that's an alchemy set. Um, I will take it with me. The reason why I'm going to do this is um, I think these things are pretty, yeah, pretty much worth a lot of um, a lot of ducats. Miracle cure. Oh, that is nice. And an antidote. That's also nice. I get the aged parchments. I would like to give them to Arik, but I think it also works with. Arbush. That might be. This is a recipe for a health potion. So I got the health potion and the strong health potion. This is a recipe for the miracle cure. Holy crap. A miracle cure recipe. That is nice. Um, because it, it, it uh, basically cures all illnesses like um, traumatic fever, which you can... Otherwise, only cure with a healer. And that's nice. I will add that as an elixir to increase your courage. Also very nice. I will uh, bring all these elixirs to my, to my book. Yep. So they won't uh, use up any slots in my inventory. Uh, let's have a quick look at the book, shall we? Um, recipes. So, oh, look at this. Starting to look nice. So what do we have here? A glass bottle. I got a couple of these. I got one berries. I got tarnals. I need schnapps. And then I can basically make a health potion. For a strength health potion, I need a glass bottle, two whirlweeds, tarnal, no problem, mandrake, and schnapps. The problem here is it takes a full day to make these. Um, I will definitely create like five or four of these. Um, before I head out for the next attempt to grab the, the Blade of Destiny. And the Miracle Cure. Uh, this Miracle Cure restores full health. Additional... Oh, only Dull Skull. Okay, well, yeah, it doesn't matter. But 72 hours, it's basically not even worth doing it. Because if you have a pretty good healer, uh, he will be able to cure... Um, dull skull by himself with a fraction of these resources and in like an hour and uh, yeah it is nice 
to have something like that, especially the restores full health part, but the price is really high. It is really high. So this is a weak weapon poison. Um, I don't, I'm not going to use that. It's a strong weapon poison that can be applied to etched as well as ranged weapons. This is better, but still two days for one application is a lot. These things usually take that much time in the original game. But um, as we remember, uh, we are on a deadline here, so it might not be the best idea to waste weeks brewing potions. Um, also, Hylian fire, that's Greek fire, by, uh, basically. It is a good thing, and 8.5 hours are reasonable, considering how much damage these things do. In-game, in, in a pen and paper game, it's even worse. These things incinerate everything. It's really heavy. And a coverage elixir, two days. And uh, the benefit is questionable. Good. Uh, let me check the rest of the room. I think there was a second chest somewhere. A closer inspection of the wall reveals a secret door to... Harbush. And he's able to open it. That's very nice. And there's a second chest, which I'm going to open as well. Here we go. Another alchemy set. Oh, we totally grabbed this uh, laboratory thing, right? Uh, so give this to Torfin as well. What else do we have? Um, what's that? I don't really know. This is strength. I could give that to Torfin. And two healing potions I will give to Vindariel. Also, I got two more recipes, which I'm going to identify immediately. Let me check that. Uh, it's a dangerous weapon poison called Expurgicum. We already have that. Uh, that's unfortunate. But, um, and that's Hylian Fire. Again, not a good translation at all. Um, where is it? Oh, here we go. So these things, um, yeah. I already know that. I already know that. I could maybe have sold these, but I want to keep these slots free for inventory stuff. So, um, let's head to the next room. But I'm not going to do that today. I've already been recording for, yeah, she's uncomfortable. I saw that. Already recording for like 30 minutes. And I hope you had fun with these uh, short but heavy battles, uh, including the mages. And that you also will consider to join me in the next episode. If you like this one, there's a thumbs up button below this video and I would really like you to press it. So that was it for today. I hope you had fun and I see you in the next episode. Until then, bye.